Hello and welcome to another of my Excel training videos. My name is Ken Atagari. Now this lesson I'm going to show you uh, a real life project on data cleansing. And in order to achieve this task what I'm going to be doing is to use the index match function. I'll first show you how to use the index match function then after that I'll create a project, a data cleansing project, where we can use the index match function. Now imagine we've got XYZ limited and they've got items sold, the quantity of items sold. Also imagine that they've got a huge database in Excel, probably a couple of thousands of items or records. This is only 300 plus. But imagine it's thousands of records uh, and thousands of columns, right? All the way, let's say, from 2010 to 2020. The idea here is that we want to be able to find out which data sets are unknown and then probably make corrections later. And the users of this database are not savvy enough to come over and work directly in this database. So first thing, I'm going to do the index match function. Remember this is going to be a two-part video, so the first part is going to be solely showing you how to use the index match function, while the second part will be showing you a real-life project. So first I'll try to use some other functions. I'm going to use the data validation functions to create drop down lists for the items and for the dates. If I come over here, I'm going to click this so you know that these are the positions where you have your change in values, metrics. For this, I'm going to go to data validation. create a drop down list and then the source will be all of these data so the user can choose any of this then over here for date I'll go over to data validation list I'm going to select these dates here. This is going to make up my list. So I want a situation where, oh, sorry, let me change this to a date function. Date. Mm, that's not right. I'm just going to use the format painter to change that to look exactly like that okay so I want a situation where if I click for example a01 January 13 I find this value if I click on a o a a01 February 13 I get this value of course you can always use a field up function but I'm going to use the index match function here. So I'll start to call index. Index, then this tells me array. I'm going to use the first one here. The array is all of this. That's the data in between the two um, references I'm going to be using. I'm going to freeze my data by uh, entering the F4 key go on to this row number this is the row uh, if I said something like one for row number and one for column number and then I enter oops sorry let's see row number one oh sorry uh, what did I do on here sorry this should be one okay 
I would find I'll be able to see the data for this will pull out this data if I did same for um, let's say 2 that would pull out this data but I want this to be dynamic to be able to respond to these two drop down lists so I'll come over here get rid of these values and the row number is going to be found using the match function so match open bracket look up value is this look that up in this that will give the row number exact match zero so that's for the row for the column number I'll go to the top let me open this more so you can see what's happening here I go to the top I light all of these sorry I should put match before I do that match lookup value is lookup value is the one here and match it against this freeze F4 then the match type is exact close so now this is dynamic if I change this changes change the date it also changes you can see it's changing based on the values that enter in the drop down lists right now that we understand how the index match uh, match function works in my next video I'm going to show you a real life project on how to walk through data cleansing using this um, this index match function see you then bye bye